Good morning, travelers. Welcome to another video. Still here in Indianapolis, but we are leaving Indianapolis and we're gonna head right over to the great state of Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky to be precise. To get to Louisville, we are doing something we've never done before. We're jumping in a Greyhound bus, taking a quick ride. It's only about an hour, you know, so it wasn't worth getting an airplane, too much for an Uber. So we figured, what the hell, let's jump in a Greyhound and uh, leave the driving to them and see this beautiful country while just being a passenger and riding along the roads. So we'll definitely bring you guys along for that. Stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, and let's go. Kentucky, right, here guys, we come. So we made it to the Greyhound station. You can see behind us, we're at the Greyhound station here in downtown Indianapolis, ready to take our first Greyhound ride. Vanessa's first ever Greyhound ride. And what are your thoughts, baby? Uh, it's one thing to take a Greyhound ride. It's another thing to take it into another state. <laughs> from a state that you're not from. Yeah. So come with us and let's see how this goes. Okay, here we go. Inside the Greyhound. Leave the driving to us. Union Station Terminal, Indianapolis. to do anything this is our first time riding Greyhound. Luga. Look at that 59.1. Alright guys so my bag was uh, nine pounds over and uh, it's gonna cost us 20 bucks so we need to go online and pay the $20 add it on to our ticket. That's uh, part of the adventure here. So we are all checked in. Baby, what are your first thoughts on the check-in process? It was easy. She's a funny lady. Yeah, the lady was funny at the desk. And uh, now we're just waiting. As you see out here, we're going to be on line number one. The bus is out there. Another one just arrived. And uh, we'll be making our way to Louisville. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, we are it's comfy. You can see behind this full bus. Once we start rolling here, get you guys some footage from, from the road. Hopefully, it's a nice ride. I've never done this before. It'll be fun, right? Yeah. Let's see how moving. There we go. We're in the station. Wait, where are you going? Louisville? Let me see your ticket. We're about 15 minutes into our ride, and so far so good, comfortable, right? It's uh, quiet on the bus, except for the few people that are confident sneezing. But aside from that, we're doing good. So take a look right here, you can see the road. People drive very, very calmly here. Yeah, 50 miles an hour. On the freeway, the bus is actually passing people. That would never happen in California because people minimum 80 miles per hour. Stay with us. When we get to Luga, we will show you what that city is like and what kind of things they have to offer. For now, let's enjoy Greyhound. So we are about an hour. Oh, here's the sign. 35 miles out of Luga. Bus ride's been okay. It's been fine. Just uh, boring. It's the same view the entire ride. We've got uh, flat green to the left and flat green to the right with some farms and corn on either side. It's been good. It's been fun, right? Yeah, nice and relaxing and uh, beats driving. We're almost to Louisville, guys. 35 miles. So 
we have made it. We're getting off the bus. Got to get our luggage. All right, how you doing? We are here. We made it from Louisville, Kentucky. Baby, how was your first Greyhound ride? I thought it was nice. Good. Not eventful. It was comfortable. And it was only fifty dollars, which is way cheaper than renting a car. So. Yeah. It really wasn't that bad. Uh, not really sure where we got dropped off. We got to order a, a Uber now to get to our hotel. We'll be with you guys in a few minutes. Let me order this Uber. All right, guys, we made it to the hotel. We got our Uber. Take a look. We're sitting at the Marriott, downtown Louisville. Looks like a beautiful place. Just getting checked in right now. As soon as we get up to our room, we will let you guys check it out with the link. We checked in, making our way to our room, room 953. It's a really nice hallway. All right guys, gonna give you a quick room tour. Here, you walk in and there's a nice bathroom. Nice long sink, big mirror. Look at the shower head. It's nice dual shower heads. Of course, your standard shampoo, conditioner, body soap. And closet. Standard closet with a safe. Ironing board. Very nice. Come out and look at the room, guys. Nice king size bed. Wall decor is great. And then a little workspace right here where I'll be doing editing while Vanessa's in her conference. Nice big TV. You got a pretty decent view of downtown. Look at this. Downtown Louisville. Right next to the convention center. It's a beautiful skyline. So we are now out of the hotel. Heading to go get something to eat. My love is guiding us to a barbecue spot. What would you hear about it? Um, they have pork belly on a stick. Yeah. Which is why we're going. And they have brisket. Yeah. So pork belly on a stick and beef brisket, guys. It's, uh, it's a real nice area where we are. We're right in downtown. Right across the street, there's a police station you can see right there. This is the uh, Louisville Metro PD. Should be a fun week. We got some things planned and we're gonna bring you guys along. Can't wait to show you what Louisville, Kentucky's all about. And some of you guys may be aware, Louisville, well, Kentucky, is most famous for its bourbon. And uh, we'll try a bourbon drink while we're here. But if you look right across the street here, there's a house of bourbon, and I'm sure there's a lot of them here. Justin's House of Bourbon. So we will definitely try a popular Kentucky bourbon drink. Leave uh, one in the comments below if you have a favorite and let us know what we should try. Walking around still here in Louisville. Been here for about half hour, 45 minutes. First impressions, super clean. People are very friendly. People you walk by, they all say hi to you. And uh, just a nice place. The architecture here, the brick buildings are awesome. Yeah, we love looking at them. What do you think, baby? Lots of charm, just beautiful. It is, it's really beautiful. Again, another place, Louisville, Kentucky, never on my list. <laughs> but uh, another place that I'm really glad we came to and we discovered because there's a lot of charm here, and I'm sure we're gonna have a great time. We're making our way. One of the great things about this town, guys, it's home of the Louisville Slugger. And here you see, as you walk along the street, they have these little home plates with the baseball bat, and it gives a story of each player. So like the Hollywood Walk of Fame, this one's better because it's the Louisville Slugger Walk of Fame. Hopefully we get some more nuggets like that to bring you guys along the way because this place 
seems to have a whole bunch of little hidden gems that we're uh, excited to bring to you guys. So here you guys see this is Louisville Slugger Field. And uh, again, Louisville is home to the Louisville Slugger baseball bat. And all I can say you guys is I'm pretty happy to be here. Anywhere where there's a passion for baseball is a home for me. So let's go check it out. We will be taking you guys inside the Louisville Slugger Museum, letting you see how bats are made. Maybe we'll get a TV travels bat. Who knows if we get 5,000 subscribers, number 5,000, we'll get the bat sent to them. Maybe, I don't know, you may want to subscribe. Guys, we're going in. It's called Against the Grains. Check it out. It's a really cool environment. Check out the whole place. All right, guys, so we are here at Against the Grain. What'd you order, love? I got a Reuben sandwich. She got a Reuben sandwich. I got a burger. Sandwich. Comes with a fried egg and bacon. And we also ordered uh, bourbon drinks. I got a float fashion, which is Angel's Envy bourbon, vanilla root beer syrup, and orange bitters. My love, she got herself a Tito's tea refresher. Tito's vodka, simple syrup, half tea, half pink lemonade. So we'll let you guys know how they taste. You guys will get to see them when they come out. Any other words? I'm starving. <laughs> She's starving. Me too. Nessa got herself pork belly, well, got us pork belly on a stick. Take a look here, guys, how delicious this looks. Comes with the sweet barbecue sauce right here. So our pork belly on a stick has arrived, and we're gonna get a review here from Vanessa. Um, it comes with kind of a molasses type of barbecue sauce, which is okay, but the pork sticks are actually really, really good. Thank you. Our drinks are right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think they're deep fried, but if you're just into like chicharron and pork belly in general, um, my preference is without the sauce, just having it the way that it is. Uh, it's pretty good. My drink has arrived. Check it out. Very good looking drink. Let you see the inside. And Vanessa's drink. Take a look. Show them, baby. It is a lemonade tea with vodka in it. Lemonade tea with vodka. Go ahead and give it a sip. Ooh, that's refreshing. Mm. All right. And now I'm going to try mine. All right. Let's First cheers. Bourbon. First bourbon drink ever. It's good. <laughs> really good. This is supposed to mimic a root beer float. It's a, it's a good pour, a very good pour. Um, I mean, if I went with the lighter, I'd be a dragon because that's how much alcohol there is in this thing. But uh, yeah, welcome to Kentucky. And when our meal gets here, we're going to give you guys that experience of us trying it too. So we'll talk to you soon, travelers. All right, Vanessa's gonna, well, what'd you get, baby? Describe it to him. I got a Reuben sandwich. It has two patties and some coleslaw, uh, some cheese, and it's on rye bread, which is one of my favorite breads. That's why I got it. So. Mm. 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 The burger is juicy. The bread is nice and toasted, and it has a nice sauerkraut type of flavor to it. It's good, really good. All right guys, so I'm gonna try my burger. Has a nice fried egg. Oh, look at that yolk. Beautiful yolk, bacon, two patties. Let's give this a shot. That is so good. The egg, and then you get the burger, the beef flavor, and they have a blackberry jam on there that hits you at the very end in the back of your mouth and it is delicious all right guys we just finished lunch at against the grain love what do you think i thought it was really good unfortunately they didn't really have any barbecue here but they had really good burgers yeah the burger was good yeah we we came for uh for barbecue and we're leaving eating a burger but it was delicious and uh, we're gonna have barbecue some other time here we're here for a week so we're not worried 
But now we're going to walk around a little bit downtown and uh, we're getting rained on, but it's just a little drizzle. 